Hi everyone, in this video we're going to minimize this function f of xy equals x squared plus y squared subject to the constraint x plus 2y minus 5 equals 0. We're going to do it using something called Lagrange multipliers. So, solution. So to use Lagrange multipliers, Lagrange multipliers, <laughs> all you have to do is solve these equations. So the gradient of f of xy uh, will be parallel okay, to the gradient of g of xy. That means it's a multiple of this gradient, so it's equal to lambda times the gradient. And also, we have to solve this equation, g of xy equals c. Once we get x and y, we plug them back into our original function, and that should be the minimum in this case. Okay, so all we have to do is compute the gradients. Uh, in this problem here, this is our g of xy. And our c is a 0 in this case. All right, so the gradient of f is the vector uh, whose components are the partial derivatives of f. So recall that this is going to be fx, and this is fy, just as a refresher. And this is lambda, and then this is gx, gy. So all we have to do is fill all this stuff in. It's pretty easy to do it. Let's just go ahead and do it. So fx is the partial of this with respect to x. So when we take the partial with respect to x, um, the derivative of y is 0. So this will just be 2x. And when we take the partial with respect to y, um, the derivative of x is 0, so we just get 2y. And here we have our beautiful Greek letter lambda. So gx is over here, um, so the partial with respect to x is just 1, right? Everything else is 0 because it's constant. And when we take the derivative with respect to y, um, well, the derivative of x is 0, the derivative of negative 5 is 0, so we just get 2 because that's the derivative of 2y. Okay, so we have 2x, 2y, and that's equal to um, lambda, and then 2 times lambda is 2 lambda. Everything looks okay. All right, so two vectors are equal when their components are equal. So we set lambda equal to 2x. So lambda equals 2x. And then we set 2 lambda equal to 2y. So 2 lambda equals 2y. So how you proceed here uh, is up to you. I'm a really uh, big fan of matching. I feel like that makes things easier. So here we have 2 lambda. Here we have lambda. Let's multiply the first equation by 2. That gives us 2 lambda equals 4x, right? Multiplying both sides by 2. So 2 lambda equals 4x. And the bottom, we have 2 lambda equals 2y. So now using matching, right? 2 lambda is 2 lambda. So that means that 4x is equal to 2y. Boom. That's how pros do it. I love this stuff. Now solve for y, maybe. So divide by 2, divide by 2. So you get y equals 2x. So now we're kind of stuck. So, you know, we do some magic here, right? We figure out uh, some kind, some type of relationship, you know, write y in terms of x. And so now we have to go back to our beautiful constraint, which is up here. So we know y is 2x. So we have x plus 2. And since y is 2x, we can replace it with 2x. Then minus 5 and that's equal to 0. So again, just replacing the y with 2x. Let's keep going. This gives us x plus 4x minus 5 equals 0. So x plus 4x, that's 5x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5 to both sides, so we get 5x equals 5. So 5x equals 5, and then divide by 5, so we get x equals 1. Hurrah! We have x equals 1. That means y is 2, right? Because you can plug it back in here. So you get y equals 2 times 1, which is 2. So we have x, we have y. Now we can find the, what was it in this problem? It was a minimum, right? So x is 1, y is 2. Our original function was f of xy, which is equal to x squared plus y squared. So all we do is we plug these numbers in. So we have f of 1, comma 2. Uh, this is so much fun. You know, solving these equations, it's 
it's always different. You know, the problems are kind of interesting. And 2 squared. So 1 plus 4 is 5. And that, my friends, is the, I believe, again, it was a minimum. That is our minimum in this problem. So if you had more than one uh, pair of xy, you'd plug them both in. The smallest answer is the minimum. The biggest one is the maximum. In this case, we only had one pair of xy. And so we plug them in, and we get the answer. I hope this video uh, has made sense. That's it.